Joining us now, Charlie Babrinskoy from Ariel Investments and David Bonson from the Bonson Group. Good afternoon to you both. David, I'll start with you. Strong day for the market, strong week, month, quarter, and first half. Does it continue? Well, I think it continues, but in a very different way. I don't think the second half will mimic what the first half saw with huge multiple expansion in technology. I think now you'll see the Fed be less of a player in what drives markets, and you're going to see actual earnings expansion and real-life free cash flow matter more. I would expect that the second half is going to be much more of a mixed bag, but definitely still pockets of opportunity. Yeah, and we know the mega cap tech names like Apple, like Meta, like NVIDIA, and some of the others have really powered the games gains so far. All right. David, I do want to get your thoughts on what you like in the market right now and whether what we just heard from President Biden Gives you uh, gives you a moment to reconsider how that how that could look uh, if you have a consumer that has so far, even with just some of the data today, remains pretty resilient and now perhaps does not have student loan repayments uh, added to the mix. No, I think the Supreme Court did President Biden a huge favor today. I think it was a disastrous idea, and I do not believe the economy is dependent upon magically wiping away $10,000 of money per household. The consumer spends when the consumer has wages, and to the extent that we shuffle the deck around with redistribution, it doesn't create new wealth. What we need is production. That's what drives economic growth, and I believe that we, I very much agree with what Charlie just said, in industrials, financials, energy, there are valuations that line up with opportunity. And, and I think that some of these big tech companies are wonderful companies companies that have grown leaps and bounds. I just think their stock price is totally disconnected from reality. So the macroeconomic story to me is that there are places you can invest, but you really have to be selective right now. Okay. We're going to leave the conversation there. David and Charlie, thanks.